It has been a great day here at the St. Louis Zoo, giving you an all access pass to the animals and to the proud workers. Now our final story takes us here to Sea Lion Sound, giving you a behind the scenes look, or should I say it underneath the scenes look at what it takes to get the water just right for some of the zoo's biggest attractions. When the gates open each morning at the St. Louis Zoo, the stars of the show know what to do. Sea Lion Sound has been a world of wonder since it debuted four years ago. Oh, look at that one! Say cheese! Putting you under the sea while keeping you dry. We had high expectations, high hopes, and then this was voted the number one exhibit in the nation the year that we opened it. The zoo's president, Dr. Jeffrey Bonner, loves this view of his prized exhibit. We're getting close to one of the highest points in St. Louis here. You see that beautiful blue pool, and I always tell people, they think that water's tinted blue or that the bottom is painted blue. It's not. That's what perfectly clear water looks like. Perfectly clear water doesn't just happen. The zookeepers do a little underwater housekeeping twice a week, vacuuming and scrubbing away any blemish. And then there's the work done by this crew. If these guys are the stars, you can call the team known as Life Support the unsung heroes backstage. It's critically important. I mean, there's a reason they call it Life Support. Bring it forward. They bring the ocean to St. Louis with weekly deliveries of salt and getting the temperature just right for the sea lions and the zoo's newest attraction, Cully the polar bear. It's a full-time job. One of us is on call 24-7. Uh, we're here seven days a week. It's never-ending to kind of keep those parameters as close as possible to their natural environment. This is an area that the public never gets to see. This is where we clean the water that takes care of the animals. Helping keep those parameters is a state-of-the-art filtration system 35 feet underground. So, come on in. Giant tanks that help remove the smallest of objects from the largest of animals. When you think about how small a piece of hair is, that's the kind of stuff that we're trying to filter out. And when they're not down below, they're in the lab making sure the water Mandy calls home is perfect. My number one goal is, keep, is the animals. It's always the animals. They come first. <laughs> That's okay. That concludes our St. Louis Pride series here at the zoo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you missed any of our coverage, you can find the stories on KSDK.com. With photographer and editor Rick Meyer, I'm Ryan Dean.